jewellery, well, it can be such a personal thing. Some like to keep it small, others like a bigger look. But have you ever thought about scaling it up a notch and making jewellery for the home? It really is just bling on a larger scale and can liven up the plainest of walls. And guess what? You don't need diamonds to do it. That's because all the materials for the three wall hangings I'm going to create came pretty cheaply from the hardware store. Now, the thing to remember about this is there are no rules. You can pretty much make it up as you go along. So if you want to, you can start by doing a mud map, a bit of a sketch, but remember, again, no rules. This look is quite geometric. Think out of the square for this one. You can go for any kind of materials, particularly this. I love copper, don't you? It's such a great thing to use in home design. It has a good colour, it's easy to cut, but you know what's offending me? This sticker it has to go. And for the stickiness it's left behind, I'll just use some adhesive remover. Time to get this lot out of the way so I can get my hands dirty. To cut pipe down to size, you can get this really nifty little gadget from the hardware store. It's called a pipe cutter. Basically, you just wrap it around the section of the pipe that you want to cut and just tighten it down not too hard. You don't want to distort the pipe. And give it a couple of turns. And you can see very carefully, see it's creating like a little cut line. Tighten it down a little bit more and then turn it again. And then keep going. Bingo. Alrighty, I reckon that might do me for the straight pipes. Now, I want to add a bit of curve to this design. It's going to give me that semicircular shape that I've got here. You can buy copper pipe on the roll. Now, this is about 20 bucks for the roll. It's so much fun because you only need to very gently kind of tease it open. You can see all these great shapes. And once you've got the shape that you want, again, you can use your pipe cutter just to dock it down to length. OK, so what we need to remember is this is going to be a wall hanging. It can't be too heavy. All of this copper pipe, well, it's not that heavy. It's pretty good, but I want to combine it with some timber. Normal timber, too much, too heavy. Balsa wood is so much better. It gives you the look and it's very thin and lightweight. And you don't even need any special power tools. Just the tip of a pencil and you can easily punch through to the other side. And if you want to connect your timber, you can then just use really beautiful copper wire see how that just threads through and just link it over onto the back and just a couple of little loops will hold it securely. Now speaking of joiners, to connect the whole thing together I'm just using cord, making sure that the cord you choose will fit neatly through the pipe. Now just like threading jewellery, this is where you can get really arty and creative. Start at the top, you can add special knots if you like, just work your way down, just drape it. If you don't like the look you can just pull it out and kind of start again. It's very easy and so much fun. And if you feel that you need to do like a little kind of gathering here at the top, there are these other great connectors you can get. They're like a little T junction. So you can slide both of those through one of those and then keep working your way up. Now we're cooking with gas, looking good. And the best way to view art in progress of this size, I reckon, it is from a bird's eye point of view. Just lay it out, make sure you're happy with your scale and make sure that everything's in the right spot. And then finally, link everything together with cord. And then for the top, choose your favourite macrame knots. I'm just going for a very simple braid. Tie it off when you're really happy, your new artwork will be ready to hang. I think what works so well about this particular piece is the scale. I mean, it's a big wall to fill, but it doesn't overpower the space. This is a great contemporary look for this room.
Sometimes you might want to add a splash of colour to a wall in the garden. Perfectly okay to do that using this idea as well. You just need to choose different materials, things that will stand up well to the weather. I like to go for colourful glazed ceramic tiles. These ones are perfect. You could use marble or different stone. These ones are kind of cool because you can peel them away from this mesh backing so you get different sizes. Metal, a bit like the copper, you can buy this in the plumbing section. This is brass, so beautiful. It has great texture with all of these little divots in here. I also like to use leather to link everything together. It's nice and strong, has a great colour and texture. Now the plan here is Again, there is no real plan. You can just play along with it. So I've kind of threaded the leather cords through the pipe here and around the tile. But the whole idea is creating a whole series of little pieces that you kind of link through each other just by tying a knot like that at the top. So I've already started here. I've got a steel rod at the top. Again, it's quite heavy, so you'll need something strong at the top like steel. And I've just put the brass rod through here and just working down in a series. And this little guy, well, I think I'll just hook him through here at the bottom. Just a nice strong knot at the top. And you can just hang them across. It is gonna be quite weighty, so I think if you wanna do a really big piece of art, my suggestion would be kind of work in smaller groups and just create a series across a wall. Ooh, it's got a good sound too. You know, something like this can add such a beautiful, bold splash of colour to a garden. It's not always about the flowers. Perfect for winter time, don't you think? It's all about just being unique and having a go. You don't have to worry too much if you're not super clever, because something like this is dead easy to do. For this idea, again, I'm using balsa wood. Only the inspiration for this one comes from Art Deco Design. Now, if you don't know much about Art Deco, it's definitely worth looking up on the internet. You might even have a book in your local library. Geometry, again, plays a big part. So what I've done here is drawn up my pattern on the back of the balsa and using my sharp blade and my knife. It's time to start cutting again. Okay, so how this is going to look is very jewel-like, a bit like big sparkly earrings, something very ornate. A centre jewel is the starting point, and a smaller one on top, that gives it a little bit more of a 3D effect. And then each of these small pieces will fan out around. So we'll start with two on the side, and just following the shape. I never was good at jigsaw puzzles. And then finishing with this one down here. Now the good thing about balsa wood is you can leave it plain, it's such a beautiful blonde timber. Or you can stain it, it absorbs really well. You can paint it solidly or you can add other embellishments. I'm going to use fabric. So for each of the end points, I'll just cut off probably two inches and then cover those with fabric. I'm using some of this gorgeous chambray denim and just sticking it onto the back using hot glue. For the jewel at the top, I'm using some of this gilding wax. This is such a great product. If you don't want to do gold leaf, this is a nice alternative. You don't need any special tools, just your finger will do. Now with all of the pieces cut and covered, I can start assembling everything together. So this is my centre gem and a little brass ring at the top. That will hold everything. So again, trusty glue gun, just a little dab. Now if I place that centre ring at the top, I can cover over with my fabric piece as well. It gives a really nice 3D effect and I love that little brass ring there. Okay, so with that done at the top, now it's for the rest of it. Because I'm going to work upside down, I need to reinforce it from the back. It's a little confusing. Take your time, lay it out carefully, think about it. Yes! <laughs> and then you can use glue to hold it all in. How cute is this? Let's get it on the wall. Wow. 
love it. Of course, you could always hang prints or maybe even photographs, but by making things like this with your hands, totally unique, no one has anything like that. It's a really personal touch. You don't have to spend a fortune, you can make things from bits and pieces you may already have. While jewellery, it's the new bling that could be your next big thing.